appreciation of solitude and alone time, flexibility of perception, mental strength, self-sufficiency, self-confidence, authenticity and uniqueness, natural leaders that don't impose, self-awareness, critical thinkers, risk-takers, attention grabbers, rebellion, appreciating the present moment, non-judgmental. What a list. Anyone could find themselves or delude themselves into thinking they find themselves in one or more of these categories. Who knows if there's truly someone out there embodying all of them? The models of the rare and irresistible Sigma male permeate our collective imagination. Not only through alternative online forums, but also through cinematic and television storytelling. The issue isn't imagination, of course, but culture. In essence, the problem is that we start to believe these personalities truly exist. Many men try to align their character with these models, aiming to conform just as much as women strive to adhere to absurd physical standards, all under the belief that it makes them irresistible. But hold on, let's hit pause on the Sigma Saga for a moment. In a world that loves to categorize, label, and box people into neat little archetypes, it's crucial to remember the importance of authenticity and self-improvement. Is this really the way we want to understand individuals? Sure, the idea of Sigma men has its allure. But here's the thing, we're all unique beings with our own quirks, strengths, and complexities. Attempting to fit every person into predefined molds overlooks the beauty of individuality. Life is not a one-size-fits-all deal, and psychology is certainly no exception. Let's be real. Categorizing individuals into sigma, alpha, beta, or any other label oversimplifies the richness of human nature. We're not just lone wolves, alphas, or betas. We're a vibrant tapestry of experiences, emotions, and personal journeys. And speaking of personal journeys, here's a thought. It's wonderful to be yourself. In fact, it's crucial. Embracing authenticity means acknowledging your uniqueness, understanding your strengths, and yes, recognizing your areas for improvement. We all have them. It's not about conforming to an archetype. It's about embracing your true self and constantly evolving. The Sigma male concept might have its merits, but it's time to question the validity of these generalized archetypes. People are not algorithms, and psychological diversity deserves more than a checklist of traits. Let's break free from the confines of categorization, embrace the true complexity of the human psyche, and focus on the real work of self-improvement. This type of storytelling risks fueling misogynistic attitudes and hindering the possibility of building healthy and balanced relationships. Instead of focusing on labels like Alpha, Beta, or Sigma, it would be more beneficial for men to strive towards developing their self-esteem empathy, and communication skills. Qualities much more appreciated and useful in interpersonal relationships for now. Irresistible women, irresistible men, again, for now. Those who cling to these labels seek to create an alternative reality where they feel safe and special, but they end up reinforcing harmful and limiting stereotypes for both genders. And in the future, the hope is that society doesn't become so saturated with these models, to the point of deeming those who don't identify with an alphabet letter or resemble imaginary characters as maladapted. And now we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on these archetypes? Have you ever identified with or questioned the labels society places on individuals? Drop your insights in the comments below. Let's engage in a meaningful conversation about the richness of individual experiences and the potential limitations of categorizations. Remember, your perspective matters, and by sharing, we contribute to a broader understanding of the diverse tapestry of human psychology. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts.